welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Pokemon video games. For this list, we'll be looking at the best mainline entries of this iconic RPG series. What's your favorite Pokemon game? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10 Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The first main series title on the Nintendo Switch marked a big leap for the franchise. Emphasis on big. The addition of Dynamax added a degree of spectacle that could have only been achieved on a home console. That, alongside some very welcome quality of life updates, already made Gala a worthy vacation spot. While the infamous lack of a national dex was a bit disappointing for some, it's easy to forgive since the new creature designs are some of the best the series has ever seen. If that's not enough, the fact it's one of the best-selling games on the Switch pretty much speaks for itself. Number 9. Pokemon Black Version and Pokemon White Version The fifth generation marked a lot of firsts for the franchise. For one, it had an all-new Pokedex with all past Pokemon locked to post-game. Secondly, it focused on the story above all else. That part was particularly thunder-shocking since, for all its successes, Pokemon was never really about the plots. Thankfully, the gamble paid off with an ambitious and thought-provoking narrative that is easily one of the franchise's best ever. Of course, none of that would matter without the actual Pokemon, who are brought to life with sprite work that's nothing short of gorgeous. This generation was the series' swan song to 2D, and we can't think of a higher note to go out on. Number 8. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y They may be about collecting gym badges, but this pair of games walks away with a badge of honor instead. That's because they dared to innovate a formula that had been more or less unchanged for a decade. Better yet, they did it in the coolest way possible. With the introduction of a new type, Mega Evolutions, and fully 3D graphics, it's no hyperbole to say Pokemon was changed forever. The new mechanics reinvigorated the series' classic battles, and meant there was plenty for even longtime Poke fans to discover. After successfully making the leap to 3D, it's obvious why the series hasn't looked back since. Number 7. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet For over 25 years, the recipe for a good Pokemon has been as follows. 8 gyms, some new additions to the Pokedex, and a fresh villain team to thwart. But Scarlet and Violet decided to add a heaping dose of exploration, and the results were downright irresistible. In the Paldia region, trainers can challenge gyms, uncover mysteries, and challenge titans. Or ignore it all and do something else instead. Even if it meant enduring a few technical issues, the staggering amount of player freedom made Generation 9 feel like a shiny new benchmark for the series. The only unanswered question here is why it took so long to finally get an open-world Pokemon game. Number 6. Pokemon Platinum Version The 
This third trip to Sinnoh does exactly what an enhanced edition should. That is, make the original practically obsolete. Diamond and Pill's inaugural jump to the Nintendo DS came with a few growing pains, which is why this definitive vision is all the more important. Platinum is more than a reskin, it's a complete polishing of two games that were already pretty damn good to begin with. The streamlined story, faster pace, and improved mechanics single-handedly turned a good generation into a great one. Even by today's standards, it's still the gold, or in this case, the platinum standard for what the series can be. Number 5. Pokemon Emerald Version With its varied locales and truly excellent music, most trainers didn't need much convincing to revisit the Hoenn region. But Pokemon Emerald gave a few anyway. Since it's literally Ruby and Sapphire smashed into one, it's the best of the Hoenn games on principle alone. Rest assured though, it's far more than the sum of its parts, and not just because of the added story. The entire game was masterfully rebalanced, making it one of the easiest titles in the whole series to return to. Not every GBA game holds up this well, especially when compared to the modern entries. But rest assured, Emerald's reputation is as solid as a Regirock. Number 4. Pokemon Legends Arceus It's no exaggeration to say that this is unlike any mainline Pokemon game ever, but it's all the better for it. In a refreshing back-to-basics approach, this title finally lives up to the promise of catching them all. Don't worry, there's plenty of battles to satisfy. But the unique boss fights and exploratory missions helped break up the monotonous grind of combat. Especially since it's paired with a surprisingly in-depth story. Look, it's no secret that Pokemon's been stuck in the same evolutionary stage for a while. So, if anything, this bold experiment deserves a spot in the Hall of Fame just for trying something new. The fact it's actually successful is just the slur puff on top. Number 3 Pokemon Black Version 2 and Pokemon White Version 2 Unova was already home to one of the best generations even before these sequels came along. But with a bit of fine tuning, the ambitious black and white evolved into a masterclass of everything Pokemon does best. The amazing visuals and fantastic story returned, this time with one of the most satisfying regional dexes a mainline game has ever had. Plus, their unique position as full-fledged sequels allowed them to craft genuine cross-game character arcs like never before. It's easy to point to the last releases of a generation as the de facto games of their time, but Black 2 and White 2 are more than that. Nope, these are the hallmark for the whole series, period. Number 2. Pokemon Fire Red Vision and Pokemon Leaf Green Vision The very first Pokemon games will always hold a special place in history, but even the most rose-colored glasses can't disguise Red and Blue's fundamental jank. So, when the time was right, Game Freak saw it fit to give the original titles a much-needed makeover. Enter Fire Red and Leaf Green. <laughs> the 
the new engine and upgraded mechanics smoothed away all of Kanto's rough patches and balancing issues. But somehow, it did it without sacrificing the charm that made the game stand out in the first place. This isn't the series' first trek through Kanto, and it wouldn't be the last. But despite all that, it's still easily the best. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pokemon Heart Gold Version and Pokemon Soul Silver Version Now this truly is the best like nothing ever was, at least so far. It's no small feat to make gold, silver and crystal even better, but this pair of remakes takes it a step further. It doesn't just improve Johto, it elevated the entire series along with it. Auto run, new sprites, a toggle for the original music, you name it, this game has it. Though the fact that every single Pokemon follows you in the overworld is worth a full price game alone. That's not even mentioning the fact there's an entire second region to explore after the credits too. Or that by defeating Red atop Mount Silver, the series figuratively and literally proved that it would never stop improving. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.